Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just got finished up making this new enemy called Dzishel? Something like that. Dzishek? It's basically an, an enemy that you can never kill. It always spawns. So no matter what, if I leave this room, come back. What's up, Jonah? This is always here. So this is a new thing. There's always, in the in all the other rooms of all other dungeons, it's always that you have to, um, or that once you've killed an enemy, it's, it's dead forever. So yeah, this is something new. It'll freshen up the dungeons, and also it's kind of neat to see some enemies flying out of a hole and flying at you. So yeah, um, today I'm going to be working on the blob boss, the big old blob boss guy. And making it way more fun. So so far, the uh, the the hammer boss is way more intelligent as he gets as you get deeper in the dungeons. So he has more abilities. Now I want to give the blob boss more abilities. Yeah, that thing's kind of like a missile. It comes up and then sh and kind of like shoots at an angle, like a just like a missile would. It doesn't heat seek or anything, but maybe in future versions of them will, or like adjust their vector or something like that. Um, it does already have some in intelligence for it for these little guys too. Like, um, if if it's intelligent, it will target a hero, the hero, like your player versus the jib. Also, it will explode if it gets near you, stuff like that. What's up, Arcane? So first thing I gotta do is go find where a blob boss would be. put the player in that room and then start on some new advancements for the blob boss make him more interesting have more abilities uh, I want him to be able to split into my vision so far is to is for the big blob boss guy to split into three smaller blobs and then be able to combine back into the main blob boss which I think would be pretty interesting but I'll start playing around with it maybe there's some other stuff that might make it even more interesting like uh, I don't know. Okay, so blah boss. Blah boss. 196. One nine six. I have very very little items and stuff, but oh well. Botfu's here. What's up, Botfu? All right, here we are. Blob boss time. Okay, so yeah, first thing that would be a bit more interesting is for him to be able to at least spawn other smaller blobs. So let's get this guy's code open. Make sure I'm at no changes. Yes. Get rid of this, some of this, these windows we don't need. <clears throat> blah boss. Blah 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 blah. Bilbo. Bilbo. Okay. So now I'm gonna write some some behavior tree code so that he can spawn. Here's where he spawns. He's got if HP is less than three. It's not really what we want. Let's try if, if HP is less than 0 0.5. Nah, I kind of want this to be to happen a lot of the time. So let's do if um, if the player is far away. Target far, like by 50.0 or so. Um, and also if Rand, um, if the if it's not that intelligent, this is gonna be if Rand every eight seconds. If it is very intelligent, let's do Rand every four seconds. All right, so it says dir none. It means he's gonna stop, we'll spawn Two blobs. Let's do a third blob. Let's 
These are both spawned at 10. Let's do negative 10 there. Negative 10, negative 10, and 20. HP minus 3. No. I guess I would have killed it. What's up, Zilton? All right, so let's see that. Let's see if we can spawn three blobs every once in a while. Do we get to name it? <laughs> you always want to name stuff. This guy's already got a name. Okay, there. So he spawned some some random blobs. Now he spawned more. Oh my god. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in level six right now. I need some level six items. It's called a Jello Booger. <laughs> the mini blobs already got names too. They're already named blobs. I'm just working on an existing boss here, making it more interesting. This guy's gonna be get way more interesting today. Okay, so I need some appropriate items. Uh, by now, we probably have at least the glove, if not the chip and the boots. Maybe extend top hat. Let's say we've crafted a top hat by now, so let's do the uh the fire no. Yeah, we'll do the fire top hat. And like lightning bombs. And maybe we have one shield level by now. And since we're at level six, let's say we have five life containers. Okay, that'll be a little bit more appropriate. Yeah, that's what they already do. They split into two when they're killed. Uh, initial heal. We need some of that. Set that up. Yeah, that's what I, that's exactly what I just said. Like just like two seconds ago, the idea is to make it so he um, he can split into multiple different small guys, and then if the if the small guys are in the same area, he can combine back into a bigger one. So the colors are wrong, and he keeps he keeps spawning them. Okay, so I need to do a delay here. Like once we. You do none, delay, one, two, three, maybe three seconds if we're, oh, if Rand right here, this needs to be based on intelligent, intelligence. So, and then also delay, maybe 1.5. This one's also intelligent. And, oh, this also needs to be if count blob three, zero. So if there's if always, always if there's only th zero blobs, can we do this? Will you make the hat get stuck in it? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. The hat getting stuck in it is gonna have to be done with something with a different bit of code. Um, I I need to fix up the top hat anyways, because check this out. Hey, look at the top hat. The way the its collision box is not exactly um, what the hat would be, so I need to I need to redesign the way the top hat works, anyways. So maybe after I redesign it, I can make it so it sticks inside the blob boss. Okay, so now we've got. Um, sure that yeah it doesn't look like he's spawning anymore blobs still got one blob let's kill this blob and now 
Now we should be able to spawn more blobs. Okay, he needs like a spawning animation. Let's start with that. Alright, so blob boss. Got idle and release. That's all we have. I want to do a special animation where he's like sitting there and like jittering back and forth. Actually, this is kind of the start of it right here. He's like flat on the ground. Yeah, let's start with this animation. Save as Blob Boss Spawn. All right. Cool. Okay. So here he is. Let's make him jitter back and forth a bit. This first frame. What am I do? Let's get another frame though. So this frame, this is uses that frame, and this uses that frame. Yeah. Okay. Now I can draw it a little bit different. Top it a little more shiny. Okay, let's save that out. Blah blah spawn foes. 0.1 seconds. All good. Okay, so this guy now has an animation spawn. Okay, let's do 0.1 seconds on the animation and we'll go sequence spawn. We'll go animate spawn and repeat count. If it's 0.1 seconds and there's two frames, that's 0.2 seconds per loop of the animation. And I want it, well, I want it to keep doing it forever actually. Let's see, loop forever. until it starts moving again. I'll oh, spawn east, no he wants to spawn.
Damn. Oh. Didn't like the word spawn because it's already a word. Shoot, I don't know what to call it. It's called birth. Clash Royale ad, right? Has anybody played that? Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Nice. And it didn't loop forever. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it a lot. Those guys got stuck though, damn. Are they stuck on each other? They might be stuck on each other actually. Let's make sure that's negative 20 and that's 20 and this is like negative 20. Okay, and these are the these are something to do with intelligence and difficulty and stuff. Uh, so I want to make I want to make it the same color every time. He's a pooping booger. I should have called that animation poo. Yeah. So the second two parameters, I think those are intelligence and difficulty. Yeah, intelligence, difficulty, num value is greater than one. Survival one's ran, we do random position. Otherwise we do grab the offset. Num value is greater than two, and that's intelligence. Greater than three, that's difficulty, got it. Intelligence, difficulty, intelligence, difficulty. Which one, uh, which one affects skins? I can't, I think it's difficulty. Shoot. It's got to be difficulty. That does not make any sense. Okay. I'll set a breakpoint where it's creating, where it's pooping out the boogers, and we'll see. Where's the booger pooping going on? Lost my place. Once again, what's up with this? Behavior spawn. It totally lost this. All right. Set a breakpoint here. When it's about to spawn, we'll set a breakpoint in here and figure out. What's what um skin it's gonna be using? So I want them all to be orange, just like their their parent. The big blob boss. Okay. We got count. Should be 10. Oh, that's all AI. All right, all right, that's fine. Uh, intelligence, one, difficulty, zero. Yeah, so it did parse it that way. And then we get into where we actually create. Oh, it's spawning again. Oh, yeah, because we spawned three times. Okay, here's the first one. Maybe the baby ones are paler? Sure. Yeah, maybe something like that. I'm not even sure if I have an orange colored blob three though.
Dude, this scrolling on the latest Mac. Okay, Blob 3. Yeah, Blob 3, great. It does start at orange. So something's going on with this, um, this skin choice. All right, so intelligence, difficulty, both those are passed in. Intelligence 1, difficulty 0. A random number here. What's our random number? 0.67. This is where it's going to go and create the bean, which is where it chooses the skin based on difficulty and random. Difficulty, yes, gets passed in as 0, but random is 0.67. That might be, it might be choosing the skin based on random, not the difficulty, and that would explain it. Okay, well, let's this up. What do we got here? Foul key range. Foul is yellow. Range 0.3 to 0.6. Doesn't like that because we've got difficulty zero. Range is 0.6 to 1, which is the red. Shouldn't like that either. Good. That's it. Possible is what? Nothing? You're impossible. Doesn't say. Possible at size greater than zero. Ah! It didn't set any skin. But why not? This should be 0, 0.0 to 0, 0.33. Okay, obviously I missed something there. Start over. Once again, I'm investigating. What was that method called? Choose skin. Choose skin. Here we go. Something was wrong with that second skin, so it never really chose it. But also, it shouldn't have. They should have all been orange. Right? Hold on. Blob. Yeah, they're all one zero. Okay. Skins. Children too. There's only two children. Well, that explains it. So it's something that's going wrong there. Let's try that. This is our should be our normal skin. Zero to point. I think this happened before. Yeah, oh, I get it. Cause there's tabs and then spaces, so it probably counted a space as the first. So this time we should have, yes, three children. All right. So it pushes back the first one. Oh, it pushes back two of them. Pushes back all three. Ah, uh, what?
All right. That doesn't make sense. One more time. Key, Val. Blank key, value, range, that's great. And difficulty? Difficulty's negative one. Wait a minute. Oh, what skin is this? Oh, this is a different skin. Oh, it's Blob 3. Okay. Wait a minute. Why is the difficulty negative 1? That doesn't make sense. Should have been 0. Oh, it chooses the skin again. Okay, so it should set it that way at first, but then, yeah, later on, it should, after it creates being, or it creates entity, now it's going to create, choose the skin again, but this time with the proper difficulty. So we've got blob three, good. This time we have difficulty zero. So we've got difficulty zero. We should be pushing back range, this range, yeah. Next up, we've got 0.3 to 0.66. It should not push that back, good. Okay, it is working. I forgot that it calls choose skin twice. So now this thing's skin should be blank, got it. Okay, so the whole problem with all that was just this, the, the pretext. Okay. All right, so now it should uh, be, now it should be pooping out the orange boogers. <laughs> um, I think it needs to like, they need to start inside it. Blah, boss. Zero, 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 maybe 10. Maybe some delay here too. It might need to start wiggling and then, and then do the poop. disgusting sounding boss.
Well, good. I'm glad. Okay, so the next step would be to, to try out if I, I want him to I want to try this out so where he can split into three blobs and then combine back into one blob. Um, I think I'm gonna check in what I got so far because this is uh, already represents a little bit of a good point to put in, put a check in. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do to be able to make this guy so he can come, so he can split into three smaller blobs and then combine back into a bigger blob, there needs to be a special smaller blob dedicated only for this boss because I don't ever want three of these particular guys elsewhere to combine into a boss all of a sudden. So uh, I'm going to go to data foes and copy blob three to blob four. No, I'm going to call this blob boss. Uh, small? Or chunk? I don't know. Blob boss small is fine. Okay. Whatever. And now he's going to spawn blob boss small. And checking for blob boss small as well. And now I can I can easily give him some different qualities and everything too in the blob boss small. So let's make sure he can still spawn. Yeah, there we go. I'm spawning. That's fine. I do think he should have a slight delay before he does this spawn. So, let's do Durnan, Animate Birth Forever, Delay, so 707, and go. we'll set him to Mode 1. Mode 1 will be where he's like waiting. All right, so if mode one, delay, blah, blah, mode zero, and this is also if mode zero. Yeah, if mode zero, target any, target far, rand, count, blah, blah, small. Yeah, maybe you could, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, like maybe this guy can spawn the little tiny blobs. The tiny blobs are hard. Okay. Sequence spawn two needs to be way up there and it's in the logic. Actually, this should be all the way to the top of the logic. Spawn and spawn two, these are the most important things. If mode zero, if mode one, mode zero, mode one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Harden and roll around the room. Interesting. Good suggestions. Oh yeah, nice. That was cool. Nice, nice, nice. And um, let's get a little bit more freak. Okay, so this is a cool command in the behavior tree lately. I can do frequency. So I want to do a frequency of 1.0. And I guess this is going to have to be delay 4. Or th actually 3 would be a, well, 
I'm thinking the minimum needs to be three seconds that he's sitting there. No. I don't know. That'll work. Transform into Thor and summon lightning. Sounds like a whole other boss. So blob four or blob boss small. We need to do its uh, skins and spawning. So blob boss small can sp can spawn into blob twos, and we can make this a little more interesting too, at some point. So we can spawn other kinds of blobs. But uh, this is difficulty intelligence. Intelligence difficulty, so it always has difficulty zero, but it's once again this is doing some random skins. Why is that? Why is it doing that? H it doesn't need HP minus three. I guess we could keep that. Yep, yeah, so the beta update's gonna be uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Baby boogers? Sure. Oh man, I'm really curious. Oh, because it's blob two. Oh, right, right. So blob two. Ah, there's our problem. Let's make sure the other blobs just, yeah, okay, here we go. Fixing skins, blob zero, there. I'll fix all those up. Okay, so now there's blob two, so it should be your name. It caught on. Zilton, thanks for naming stuff. You're finally one of the cool kids! Woo! You made it to the cool kid club! Good luck. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll get you started again. Okay, so now that it now that it has a special type of blob that it can turn into, uh, let's see if we can make it so when when the we spawn these blob smalls, let's go mode two. Okay, this is sequence spawn three. And this is if mode two, and we're gonna remove ourselves right then. Just kills, dies. So hopefully this doesn't. Hopefully this doesn't 
break the boss or anything. You feel guilty for losing? What? Oh man, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty at all. You should feel proud that you were brave enough to try. Okay, so yeah, it killed him. So what I want to happen is I want him to actually turn into, you know, just disappear. I don't want him to die. Okay. Hmm. How are we going to do that? I guess there would need to be a special kind of uh, remove clause or whatever that says remove me, but don't wait. Or I could just turn off boss explosions for a second. What if I just do that to start? Turn off boss explosion. The poop is too big. That's an interesting idea, Jonah. Hiding, hiding the other three somewhere. Or hiding him. Oh, yeah, hiding him would work. Let's see, there he poops him out. Hey, what's up, Larkin? I almost think that the explosion, the boss explosion, should only ever happen uh, once once all the enemies have been defeated. That would make sense. Let's let's try that out. Yeah, let's do, that's kind of like a smart way to do. Um, Handle boss explosions. That'll be in health system. It'll be on boss death. Actually. Platform needs a shadow. The way collision system act um, determines whether it's complete is what we want to mimic. It's based on check completion. And it looks at the completion factor. And it also looks at the amount of live foes. So actually, really, you just need to check the amount of live foes. 
Okay, so in boss death, if if we count more than zero live foes on death, then we'll return from the boss death and not do any of this explosions or droppings of items or zooming in or invincible blinks or jittering. Ah, uh, but this is important here. We need to do a different kind of... Uh, okay, so we'll hold on. On boss death... Is boss, so we need to do... We need to determine is boss sooner. Yeah, so is boss is if we have explosions that size. And... Zero foes that have been spawned. Zero living foes. Count live. Zero. Okay, so this is the what this is. This is this nomenclature is wrong now. Basically, uh, probably need to have shorter, small explosions for the small remaining blobs. Maybe, maybe. Um, if is boss, we'll do, we'll go, do, this is do boss explosion. So yeah, we do a boss explosion if we have the explosion size and there's zero foes. Okay, so now we can go back into the Bob boss and keep the explosion size, but also give the explosion size to the Bob boss small. These guys are going to have a much smaller uh, explosion size. Okay, so now they all have explosion sizes. The remaining baby boogers seem a little too small given the size of the boss. Agreed. That's why I created a smaller or a different profile for these guys so I could draw something different. This blob 3 that you see right now is just what I had already drawn. Okay. It's weird how that shadow doesn't look right. So now when I kill the last booger, it should do the explosion. Yeah! Nice! I hope it puts out more. Okay, so it is the spawn for these guys needs to be a little bit better. It shouldn't spawn after it's already dead. Okay, so next step. Um, uh, it would be nice to have that medium sized uh, booger art. So let's get all the blob bosses art. Blob boss release, spawn, idle. Okay. Go file, save this as blob boss small, idle. Blob boss small spawn. Blah, blah, small release. Yep. 
Yep, four thousand. I think is an instant win. I don't know how they. I'm not sure how they coded that. It might be ninety nine percent or something. Okay, so I'll try half the size at first. That should be about right. So let's do 80 or 81. We'll do 80. Oh, that looks ugly. But I need to check proportions before I do anything else. So let's render that. Blah, blah, small, idle. Small spawn. Small release, and then let's make sure that pack that. And lastly, use all these. Oh, we don't need red, we don't need yellow. Just need those, and this is blob boss small. Idle, and let's also give it that spawn or birth animation. Blah boss, spawn. Blah boss. Oh, small spawn. Okay, so let's see how these proportions are correct. What's up, cash hit? You want to eat them? Looks like peanut butter. Come on, turn into the small. Oh, there we go. Bip, bip, bip. Yeah, I think that needs to be. These guys need to be a little bigger, actually. Come on, let's get the blob boss to like immediately turn into. Immediately spawn. Target far. Let's take off the random intelligence thing. And hell, even take. Yeah, we'll do the target far. So as long as you're far away, does it? Peanut blubber. Booger butter. Interesting. attention again. I want to see how big these guys are. I think they need to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a little bit bigger. Not much. Maybe 60% or so. Bob, Ross, and Katie? What? What happened? Uh, all right, all right. Oh. Okay, let's try sixty percent. Sixty percent of one sixty two. Oh, it's straight up 100. 100. See if that's about right. Mm 
Bob Ross. Nice. Yeah, write it down. Write down the goodness. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, let's take that suggestion and make it so it spawns all three of these at once. I think you can spawn, a, you can do a quantity spawn. Oh, we're gonna do frequency zero. Frequency zero. What's up, baby? I'm streaming. I don't think so. I haven't heard from anybody yet today. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'll mostly be coding. Yeah, I got a release tomorrow. So, yeah. Of course, baby. Baby, of course. Say hi, say hi to them for me. Okay, baby, love you. All right, see ya. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, spent the frequency to zero. Um, make it spawn all these at once, and he dies right then. Oh yeah, so all these spawns. Cause those happen right when he removes uh, the delay. Yeah, so he gets in. Oh, he gets it. Where's his animate? Oh. Oh, we don't even need the spawn three. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Does the world really need Blob Ross fan fiction? Oh shit. Okay, so it removed before it spawned. All right, I know what's going on. An AI system where it spawns. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Um, here's the function for its spawning. This is scheduled before tick based on the tick spawn count times delay. That should be called immediately Spawn funk equals blah blah blah. And this should be if e dot ai dot tick spawn count equals zero, we should immediately call this. So spawn funk. Otherwise we schedule before tick spawn funk blah blah blah. Everything smells like bacon popcorn. <laughs> Happy little trees. Ruin saved. Oh. That was cool. Okay, so the next step in getting this guy's overall AI to be working how I was thinking is to see if we can get him to combine back into one big blob. How the hell you do that? Let's. I don't want to do that. Okay, at least the dev is still working. I need to make.
make a little note here. Um, item platform. Hold on. Make item platform hidden at first. Okay. Yeah, so how would I get these guys to combine back into one giant booger? Uh, Well, let's start let's start coding this. Let's start making this script work. They call each other like a cell phone. So they pop out little. Doo -doo. Yo, Bob, where you at? Yo, Ross, I'm over here. Um, I'm just thinking of behavior wise. I'm not thinking of art art wise, like how this will look. I'm thinking of just like how do I get them to actually combine. Um, I think we could do this inside the small AI if so if there's if there has to be three of them. Okay, let's do this. If um, sequence, call this combine. If count blah blah small three. Hold on, we need to we need to like we need one more thing. If count if count blah boss. One. If we have a blob boss, immediately remove yourself. All right, we'll go. This will be count blob boss one mode nine. So we combine or move if count blob boss one mode nine. This is combine or move two if mode nine remove. So that'll like wait a tick before it, del it deletes itself. Um, and then we got if count blob boss small three. Or have a higher probability for moving to another blob if they're near enough, merge them. Right, yeah. That's the concept. But I'm talking about how to actually code the merge here. I'm thinking if, if there's three of them on the screen, um, and if Rand, well, if timer, we need a, we need a timer here too. No, no. Like I don't. Well, let's just do if Rand, I guess, for now. If Rand, say the random chance is in eight seconds. If Rand 8.0. Let's just do this. Just we'll we'll um we'll kill this guy. We'll spawn a blob boss. I think that's it. I think you. I think one of them would just spawn a blob boss, and the other ones would automatically remove themselves. Let's see if this works.
Uh, it just immediately just spawned itself back into a, a big blob. I guess they have to have a target any as well. Target any. And then we've got target none, Fran smart, target nearest friend. Here's charge. Target. I'm looking for anything else that might set a target. That target's a random friend. So this is the only place that really sets the initial target. So we'll set a timer as well. So right when it's spawned, it sets a timer. Right when it spawned it, it has no timer. Um, and then it uh, and then it gets a target as soon as it chooses one. And it also sets a timer for like, let's say five seconds. It, so that's five seconds minimum the thing is alive before it can ever do combine. So if timer is less than zero and we have a target and there's three blobs, and this random number choice works, then we do this. Okay, it didn't, work. It didn't uh, delete the other guys. Put all this up higher priority. He's also neat if target any, that one does. Okay, let's see if that works. So I just, I'm trying to get him to combine back into the other big blob boss and then all the other, other guys delete themselves automatically. It still didn't work. Oh, see, we're just ticking through combined remove like crazy. Huh. Combined remove. It's just hitting that every single time. If target any if count uh, mode nine. Oh, this needs to be if mode zero. Duh. Okay. There. He immediately combined back into the other three. Yeah. So he just keeps doing that. All right, all right. So now we need to make the blob boss so he can, um, he needs to wait a while as well. Sequence spawn, mode zero, target any. Uh. What was I just doing? Oh yeah, he needs to delay a minute. 
So where does it set his tar? Here's his target. If target none, target nearest friend, set a timer. Five seconds or so. Spawn if timer is less than zero. So there, it needs a target. And a timer. You use shriek numbers? What are shrink numbers? Nice, this is looking good already. Alright, cool. So next up I can start making them so they have to touch in order to combine back into the org. Alright, they have to be really close to each other to combine back into the blob boss. Um, Alright, so also I want to see the small blobs do the animation, the birthing animation thing. Go so this animate birth forever and then mode one and all that. Okay, so this is where it spawns the blob boss. We don't want to quite do that. We want to go mode one. And this is sequence combine two. If mode one spawn blob boss, remove. And we need a delay. So it sits there for a second. So this should make it so when the, the, the little blob is about to turn into the big blob, it does an animation first. This has to be also if count blob boss zero. And this seems, this seems like it needed more delay. So mode one delays for a little bit, comes back in and it goes if mode one. Oh, this needs to be if mode zero. Mode zero, mode one, spawn, blah, boss, remove. I think that's good. stuck though. Oh no! Okay, so I just learned right there that the, when it spawns, whenever an AI spawns another AI, it needs to... Oh shit, how did that happen? <laughs> this is getting crazy! How did it spawn another blob boss when there was already this check for blob boss zero? And blob boss small being three. Oh no, this is getting complex. Let's fix the first thing first, huh? AI system. When it calls spawn, here it is. It spawns it at a given position. So 
So we'll go, um, I think we want to go pause equals move system, get any valid position for, oh, the entity we're spawning. Okay, I guess we'll just do that when we after we spawn it. Okay, so if this is a, an AI, yeah. So we'll go spawned dot position dot pause. Let's move system get any valid position for spawned dot id spawned dot position dot pause spawn dot collision dot size uh, spawned dot move dot mask allow edges false there we go. So that should set an appropriate position for this spawned entity. And I guess this doesn't have to do anything to do with AI. We need to check though if um, spawn dot position dot empty and not spawn dot move dot empty and not spawn collision.empty you know, all those things to set appropriate positioning there so if we have a position a move component and a collision component and we're spawning an entity we need to make sure that oh oh wait let's do move mask let's take off bow so that it can be spawned on top of a foe, but not necessarily like sky and water and all that other stuff. Free parking to Zilton! 74 points, man, you're already up to like, what, 300 points now? Get back up there. I'd like to see him spawn, turn into a... Yeah, up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> so crazy weird. I don't know how it could turn into a, two blob bosses. This is going to be a really interesting boss to fight. I've got a feeling this is gonna be really fun. Once it's all said and done, this guy's gonna be pretty fun, I think. I'm still curious as to how it could possibly be spawning two but I guess if the exact same tick happened. No, there's no way it could do spawn two in one. turn into two big blob bosses once so far. What's the deal with the points? Cash it. The, we have a little bot that was coded by some of the people that watch this stream, and Boogie, uh, mainly. And uh, uh, the deal with the points is, if you're following the stream, you get a point for every minute, I think, that you watch. 
something like that. So, um, and then we, once you get a thousand points, you can raffle it in for a chance at winning a Steam key to the beta version here of Songbringer. Yeah, Hardboiled's got the description for you there. What's up, T? Welcome, welcome. Okay, I guess it's time to start. Uh, oh yeah, it would be good to make it so the little guys couldn't spawn into a bigger guy unless they were touching, and maybe that would fix the problem with them turning into two anyways. He's dead, he's back from the dead. Bafu is here, he's alive. Bafu's Jesus. Bought Lazarus. Okay, this was a good move though, adding in any valid position. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, so let's make it so the the little guys have to be close together, or cl at least close to at least like one other guy to spawn in. Oh, I guess that would make it. You know what? Here, we'll set the we'll set that there too. Let's see if that fixes it. Just double checking in sequence combined two where it actually spawns a blob boss that there's already there's definitely zero of those. Hopefully that fixes it. And then I'll do the next step. Nice, you already got 500 points. Okay, good. Only turn into one blob that time. Oh, see, it's. Oh, what's going on is it's not delaying. Anime birth forever. This is a blah blah small. Yeah, mode one. Delay 3.0 to 2.0 intelligent. Why isn't that working? <laughs> oh, I know. Did you take? Here, let me fix that for you, man. Anybody else want their points fixed? Let me know. Bot Fu was not here for a couple days this week. First stream was day 137. Wow. I'm really curious right here. This it should you should be going blah, 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 and then bam and turn into another one. This is I mean, this, that shouldn't, yeah, that should be last. This should succeed. Wow. 
What? What's wrong with this? All right, let's see if we just delay a regular dull delay. Maybe something's wrong with that intelligent part. Hey, welcome, T. See there, he yeah. just immediately combines back into the blob boss. Ugh, what's up? Why isn't this working? Did something get noted in the log, like some bad command? No. What if this is a really long delay? get it it still has a direction it's like it's heading along in this direction for a while so no wonder it just looked like he wasn't moving or he was doing something so there we got dirt none we delay a little bit and then after we're delaying then we spawn the blob boss so that should look right Okay, it was simply a visual problem. Nice, and now there's some warning that's about to happen. Okay, good, so now I need to make it so it's, it sets, um, It only starts this whole process if it's if it's close to um, So this will this will trigger it into mode 1 if um no, we'll go uh, target nearest foe mode one. This is sequence combine two, three. So in combine two, if if mode one, if target near. 30, so it's really close to its friend. And this needs to be mode 2. Mode 2. Anime birth forever. So yeah, so now it should require... Okay, so it goes into mode... It starts in mode 0. If it can, can combine and all that. Target nearest foe, mode one. If mode one, if target near 30, count blob boss, start birthing, set mode two, stop. Actually, this needs to be dir none right there. And, and in all likelihood, the other guy should set dir none as well.
Oh, no, no. This is, He needs to keep wandering around there. Wait a minute. Uh, Teak. Oh, you lost, Teak. Dang, man. Oh, sorry about that. Raffled off. Let me give you a little star here, bagging your points. Don't. Oh, I don't. Teak. Here you go. Should get you started. The game is rigged. Yeah, so if you if you already have a key, oh damn it. Oh. Oh, how do I stop this video again? No. There. Oh. All right. So. Okay, so I want him to. I want him to like. Set the target to a nearest foe. And then once once it's near, it births. Let's see. And I guess we could take out the randomness here too. If we take out randomness, then this will make all the blobs. Pro it should make all the blobs just combine. Oh, Teak. Yeah, if you if you bought the if you bought the sixteen dollar version, if you pre-ordered the sixteen dollar version of the game or the eight dollar version, and then when you end up, oh damn it, didn't work. If you bought the the sixteen dollar version, that means you get it when the game comes out when it's finally released. But this the thing you win here on the stream is the thirty two dollar version, which is the the beta version. This one. Okay, let's see that again. He started like. Two of them started wiggling, which was cool. But I don't think it was right. See that? Yeah. What? Oh, this needs to stay in mode zero at first. Or try your luck again, right? Oh, or we could just go um, select either one of these. So if mode zero or if mode one. This is 
this game done 10 minutes from now? So they're not, they didn't all start wiggling there. I thought they would all start wig, well, this guy started wiggling. Which means it's eventually just going to happen. Why did that guy start wiggling already? He's getting kidnapped by aliens for a split second. <laughs> Yeah, don't you want to see me get kidnapped by aliens? Oh, there, that, see, look at that. That was totally right, except that it freaking left two of them. Damn. Now, now everything's broken. Everything's just broken now. Ooh, this guy's getting complex. Mode two. I guess we could do mode two here. Maybe that was it. There, he's waiting. Oh no, he was. Oh, he must have been near. Oh, I get it. So, okay, that worked that time. I guess it was needed that mode two check here. Um, what was I just thinking? Um, Uh, right, Blob was supposed to be the most basic enemy. This is now the most complex enemy of all. All these, all these modes, sub enemies. Okay. Oh, what I wanted. Oh, yeah. I wanted the. I wanted all the small blobs to combine to want to combine into the big blob immediately so right right when their timers are up then and they all need it oh i guess we would need to do this if target none target nearest friend timer 5 and this would even happen before if stuck. Okay, so that should make it more consistent. Like I want all of them to combine right at the same time. They go combine if mode zero, if target any, if timers less than zero, blah blah small three, blah blah zero, target nearest foe, mode one. So they all should start combining. <laughs> oh, 
I think I need to turn on debug mode. <laughs> Spawn. Wonder, 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 charge. See, two of them combined well, and then the other guy just like, screw it. I don't want to combine. Maybe he could. Maybe he started combining, and then he he got out of his combine mode. So combine is mode one. Yeah, maybe all of this other stuff like. It should never. Oh, it should never forget. That's for sure. Ah. Forget is only in mode zero. Stop is only in mode zero. Do speed only in mode zero. Wander only in mode zero. Spawn, let's turn that off for a moment. Seek, if target any, if ran smart, if ran four, dirt target, that's good. Don't do this speed thing. Don't do Rand. Okay, there. That should help it. Help it. What I'm trying to get it to do is make it so all of the all of these little guys seek each other after a moment. random there oh I got it um so let's shoot we should do a seek a combined seek Combine seek if mode one. No ran smarts, nothing like this. We just go if mode one. Target nearest foe. Dir target. Keep combined seeking. Okay, if combined seek, if target far 20. And we shouldn't we shouldn't need to do that. If mode one, target far, dirt target. Otherwise, if mode one. We shouldn't need that anymore. Let's set it, let's do that. It's been a while since you streamed, huh? Spawn. 
Combine. Yeah, there. Let's make it okay. So now we need them all to kind of combine better. They should at least wait longer. So when they get to their combine, let's do five to three seconds, five to four seconds, maybe. <laughs> there are no quotes. Yeah, it's it's awesome, right? Sorry, it work. No, that guy's not doing it. He's doing his combined seek. Oh, he was just, that's okay. He was combined seeking because I think he was trying to seek the other guy. We could do if target and far 30. This might help there. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Oh, but that was a little bit. Yeah, that 30 is a little bit too much. Yeah, I can't wait to finish this guy and start actually playing him. Yeah! Oh, that was cool! Um, what's this one guy doing? Oh. Oh, because he was in his, he was in his, like, combined thing. Okay, so... We should combine remove... Combine remove should be top. Yeah, let's do that. Too. It's kind of cool to see him explode and then divide. So to kill this guy, you need to kill all three of his pieces before he can recombine. Yeah, I think this guy's going to be really fun. Okay, um, I'm getting really hungry, everybody. I think I gotta stop for dinner. And yeah, we're at an hour and 50 minutes, so. Yeah, that's it for today's stream. So, I'll just recap here. This, uh, this boss, 
I'm really liking the way this boss is turning out. Um, the, the whole concept here is that he can divide into three smaller pieces and then combine back into one giant piece. And through some tweaks and some, some behavior tree coding and stuff, it's all kind of working now. He combines back and he can divide. So the next things are going to be due to just start refining, refining like crazy. I don't like how these shadows are looking. Um, I want to work on the art a little bit so it looks cooler. Uh, they, he needs more abilities. He needs his, his health set right. They, I need to keep gameplay testing it to make sure that you know this is actually fun and that he gets harder at level nine and at level one he's pretty easy. So there's a lot left to do, but yeah, thanks for thanks for watching everybody. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. I'm not. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I will definitely be streaming tomorrow because I got to get this update out. So tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is a playthrough. So tomorrow's stream, sometime between two and four p.m. Pacific time, I'll start, and it will be a playthrough day. So I'll play through all the new features in this alpha or this beta update, and we'll hopefully play this blob boss. And uh, that's it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.